please tell me that I'm not the only idiot who got the Air 2 two weeks before the release of Air 2S because I didn't know about it. Maybe it's good to read the news before that. Luckily, I ordered it from Amazon and I'm still in the return window and I'm returning that drone tomorrow. Today, I'll do a comparison review of those two bad boys. There are three big differences. First is the price. This one is 35% more expensive than that guy. The second biggest difference are the propellers. They painted that one orange. And the third one is the camera. This can record 5.4K. What they don't tell you is that you have to buy more hard drives. The file sizes are huge. But the most important thing for me about that camera is the pixel size. The pixel size of that small bad boy is 0.8 micromillimeters. The pixel size of that one is 2.4. That means that the pixel size is three times bigger. That will give you better low light performance and better sharpness of your image. There is only one big problem today and that's the weather. Let me show you what is outside. Woohoohoo, how bright it is. Check those ugly clouds. And the weather is like that all around in the radius of two, 300 kilometers. So let's go out and check how cinematic image we can get of those two drones in bad weather condition. Munich weather. I just came home so frozen and now the sky is beautiful and broke so most probably there will be a beautiful sunset and I'm going out to record it. Um, what I wanted to tell you is that um, I couldn't find the zoom feature on the 2S and I was reading for half an hour in the code. The problem is that if you shoot in this cine like in D-Lock there is no zoom feature. You have to go to normal mode and then you have the zoom feature, which is a little bit of problem because it's not 10 bits, so you're quite restricted with the color grading. But later on we'll check the footage and we'll give you my thoughts on it. Now let's go out and shoot the sunset. Something's off the way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think you said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this what I noticed when I recorded in the standard profile in the cloudy weather, you hardly could see the difference. Like the difference is there. You have better resolution, a little bit sharper image, but when the conditions are a little bit moody, flying in the midday in good light conditions, both drones are not that distinguishable. The difference between the two is not that huge. But when it comes to sunset or sunrise, the Mavic 2S shines here. The Air 2 has the HDR mode and it's really amazing. It unlocks a lot of possibilities, especially when you film at sunrise or sunset. It really boosts the shadows. The problem with the HDR is that everything is in auto mode and there is quite a lot of noise in the shadows. Now let's check the difference between the 10-bit and the 8-bit. With the 10-bit footage you can really recover a lot from the shadows. Yes, there will be a lot of noise if you push the shadows a lot, but you can add denoiser and that will fix your issue. The 10-bit footage is really a game changer and when I compare the 10-bit footage versus the HDR, I would always go with the 10-bit footage. The HDR can produce some really amazing results, I captured some amazing sunsets, but the 10-bit footage looks more cinematic. With the HDR I feel that it works on 70-75% and 20-25% is like maybe it will work but mm, I hope it will work. I also compare the 8-bit D-Log and the 10-bit D-Log of the two cameras and really depending on the light conditions the 8-bit D-Log from the two 
can produce amazing results. I couldn't fly the drones at the same time, so first I flew the 2S and the sun was a little bit higher and was shining a little bit brighter so the shadows were more crushed. Now let's speak about the zoom capabilities. Both drones have digital zoom. The zoom is not optical. If you zoom two times, the quality is getting a little bit worse. If you go to four times in 4K, it looks like Samsung S21 Ultra, the periscopic lens. The footage is getting really soft. The quality of the two times zoom is mostly perfect. It's visible that the image is a little bit softer, but it's quite usable. For me, what I like the most is that if you have some building and you spin around the building, when you use the zoom, the background is spinning like crazy. In such cases, when I'm in the wild, I would even use the four times zoom because if you manage to capture the moment, who cares that it's a little bit blurry? So having four times zoom is really handy. So 2S here wins, but the Air 2 is not that much behind. Now let's talk about the low light performance. Here the 2S is the king. In the city, I was raised on its edges. My pop work is life on its complex. I found love in its center. If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the people. This is city. I met all my best friends, and I want to thank every break. I want to thank every entrance to every building. For recording videos at night, Air 2 is unusable. I never recorded videos at night. Time lapses, the drone is really good. Air 2 creating nighttime lapses, the result is amazing. I recorded the night shots in the standard profile, that's the 8-bit image, because in the D-Log and the HOG, I cannot boost the ISO so much. I think I have a restriction of the ISO to 3200, and with the standard profile, I can go up to 6400. So I use the standard profile, and the result is really, really good. Now let's talk about the tracking mode. The 2S has much better tracking mode, and it can avoid obstacles much better than the Air 2. As a content creator that travels, for me it's very important that I can put the drone to track me, so I can create some interesting shots by myself, because sometimes there is nobody around me who can control the drone. Having a tracking mode is very important, and the tracking mode of the Air 2 is not that bad. Of course, you have the improved uh, obstacle avoidance in the 2S, but most of the time I'll not run between the trees so the drone will avoid me. If you're considering buying the 2S because of the tracking capabilities, I don't think that feature is such a strong selling point, because the Air 2 has also decent tracking capabilities. If you put the drone to track you, where there are no obstacles, the drone is tracking you and not losing you. So both drones in an empty field perform relatively the same. Both drones have the FPV mode and the gimbal behaves very similar. I experimented with both drones. That mode is really weird to fly in. The FPV mode is my favorite mode when I work with the gimbal. But when I fly with the drone, it feels so weird. I have to practice a little bit more. Most probably you can achieve some amazing results with that FPV mod, but you really have to get used to it. Now, the next very important point is the connectivity. And I can really feel that the Air 2S performs maybe 20 to 30% better. I can fly a little bit further. I don't lose connection. The signal is stronger. Now, one very huge change is the operational temperatures. The Air 2 can operate on minus 10 degrees. The Air 2S can operate around zero degrees. And that's really a huge difference. And especially if you go in the mountain, when I went to my mountain trip, I flew the drone, I think in minus two or minus three degrees. The drone was fully operational. I even flew it in the fog. The, the clouds were touching the mountain. Uh, when I put the drone down, the propellers were frozen. There was a lot of um, ice on the propellers and the drone operated. But my biggest question is, if you fly the drone in such extreme conditions, and if something happens, will your DJI Care refresh work because you are operating the drone in a temperatures that are not recommended? I'm really curious why there is such a huge difference in the temperature because the Air 2 and the Air 2S are identical. When you fly them, they fly the same way. Like the difference, if there is some difference, is really minimal. The main difference is the camera. One weird thing that happened when I flew the drone in those uh, temperatures 
was that my back sensor stopped working. I just got the notification, be careful, your back sensor doesn't work. I landed the drone, wiped the sensor, pick it back in the air and it was fine. That is something very important and you have to consider. If you are planning a trip, for example, to Finland, where it's uh, minus temperatures, that drone is not ideal. Most probably you can fly that drone even on minus 10, but it's not recommended. Now let's talk about the battery life. It's really weird psychological issue here. Every single time I flew the drone, the 2S, I had the feeling that I'm getting less flight time. But after that, when I compared how much time I flew on the 2S and on the 2, the results were very similar. So I don't know, is it psychological or there is a really difference in time, but I really have the feeling that I'm getting a little bit less juice with the Air 2S. Final question, which drone is better and which drone should you buy? The 2S is the clear winner, the image is superior. If you can find the Air 2 second hand and if it's your first drone, I would definitely recommend you to find it second hand and go with that drone. If the image quality is really important to you, the low light performance and you have the money, I would definitely recommend you to go with the 2S, it's much better drone. I hope you enjoyed that video, don't forget to smile, don't forget to subscribe, destroy the like button, share the laugh in the comment section and see you in the next episode.